Hi everyone, welcome. This is Stardust LV and today we're going to do a comparison of my Chanel Rectangular Mini to my YSL Mini Camera Bag. Both are like similar in size. That's why I thought of comparing one after the other and both are in chevron as well and i have mine in caviar leather which has this grainy leather same as with this ysl mini camera bag it also has a grainy leather material so i've got this um, in iridescent caviar and comparing it with ysl it looks like this up close and the chevron is somewhat similar as well so you can see it together and then let's see the bottom so if you just take a quick look chanel rectangular mini is a little bigger in width and it looks like chanel rectangular mini is also a little bit higher there. there it looks like so the back part this has one slip pocket here at the back while the chanel also has this small slip pocket and inside YSL has one big opening and three card slots. The Chanel Rectangular Mini has a slip pocket here and a, another zipper compartment here. So I already packed this with stuff and will transfer it here in my YSL Mini camera bag. So this has two SLG and then these three little items. So I'm going to show you that if I'm going to wear these sunglasses, it's a little bigger. It won't fit in here as it will be harder to close. Or if it will close, it just like stretches the flap of the rectangular mini. However, if I put this sunglasses, which is the slim Ray-Ban, I will be able to fit it here on top and it closes easily. So let's try to transfer this stuff inside. So I have a Victorine wallet, which is a trifold wallet. And then I have a Chanel card holder which looks like this so i'm gonna put it inside this camera bag which looks like this and then we're gonna add an air pod a hand sanitizer and a lipstick so it looks like this inside and then a while ago, I wasn't able to fit this larger sunglasses, but in my YSL camera bag, it fits easily. And I will be able to close this. So I think that's the difference with YSL, you can fit a larger sunglasses with SLG while in here it will be harder to close so this is deceiving that this looks bigger but because the look of the camera bag the construction of the camera bag stretches has a little give when you fill it in like this fits more so let's see if we can add more stuff in here this looks really packed like you can see looks really packed and i'll see if i can add another lipstick or let's say we're gonna add two more lipsticks i'm gonna put it here on top 
So it will close, but it will look stretched, but it still closes. So I guess with YSL, you can add two more lipsticks and a larger sunglasses. Well, this one, only a smaller sunglasses on top with no more lipsticks. So at least you will have an idea how this stretches and what else you can put inside. So yeah, this has a lot of give compared to the Chanel Rectangular Mini. So this is what it looks like when you put it on the side of your arm. Here. Side by side. The strap difference is somewhat similar as well. As you can see, like it's similar in height. However, the Chanel Rectangular Mini doesn't have this extra leather. This, this extra leather really made a difference on your shoulders as it is so comfy when you put it on. That's why I'm really enjoying this so much because I really love the leather on my shoulder the way it sits. Like it is so comfy that even if it's back, I'm not feeling the weight going down from my shoulder and it, it looks pretty on and price wise, this is priced way more. Rectangular mini now are priced 3,500 US dollars while this is only 995 US dollars. So price difference, it's just triple, more than triple the price of this YSL. Functionality, I can say that this is more functional when it comes to looks. YSL is not far be behind as this looks really pretty on and it's such designed well. I love this tassel. You know, if you are a true Chanel lover, well, I guess you will choose this rectangular mini, but it's just amazing that I love both purses considering the price difference. This YSL purse, I'm just so obsessed with this that it was love at first sight for me when I went in the store and saw this purse uh, sitting on top of the table because this is a new design for fall. So one can readily like see it right away when you enter the store and I just grabbed it and tried it on and went home with this. So that's just how crazy it was when I picked this purse as I am not even thinking of buying this. I love both purses. I love this, I love this, but YSL is more functional in my opinion as it fits more and it's more comfy when you wear it crossbody. Choosing this purse is like I went out of my box. <laughs> Being a Chanel and Louis Vuitton lover in the past. Just check this purse out. I, I would highly, highly recommend this purse if you are a small purse lover as this is so comfy, so functional and it looks pretty on as well. I will try to um, compare this with my other small purses. So you'll be able to see if you have that kind of purse and if it, this will work for you. And again, guys, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you find this useful. So I hope you will subscribe so I will be able to see you again next time. And for the returning viewers and for those who subscribe, thank you very much. And may all of you have a wonderful day and I will see you again next time. Bye.